Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> Hey, if you wonder what we is laughing at, subscribe to the Patreon. Bonus content, you know what I'm saying? Conversation before that, the chalk ain't here, but we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same gang with me to my left. My dog be here out the prairies. How you up today, Bishop? Cool and nasty. Let's get to you it. We got like, a lot hey, to talk about. The, 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 oh, you on your CB4 shit today? Man, you got the mama. shades and the scully. You just came fresh off his Oh, damn. I be forgetting. Man. The hoes love the waves. My bad. It's just... <laughs> I'm rocking the scully. Nigga, right? you do look like CB4, nigga. <laughs> All right, bro. Let, yeah, okay, strike <laughs> Nah, I'm saying for real. <laughs> you know, nigga, you really got house. the skelly with the shades, nigga. What's the nigga that tried to rob the house on Boys in the Hood when he first came in? Uh, when Morphe had to smoke. And my wave, my wave cap under this, too. <laughs> when Morphe had to try to smoke, you like, yeah. My bad. My fault. Damn, I really got to have this bitch on. What, what's the nigga that? That nigga name? Uh, <laughs> Furious. Furious. Oh, no, Furious. Stay Furious. Lawrence so, yeah, Furious. My nah, fault. He should go to the range. That nigga left his house. That nigga barely shot somebody. That nigga yeah. go to, his house was so damn big. Man, Furious. Yeah, he smoked the nigga. Did you get him? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> still, <laughs> still to my right, my dog. Had yeah. to try to smoke a fool. <laughs> Did he Man, get him? No. Uh, boy, nigga was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> young Nacho, Young T with the phones on today, man. Oh, uh, yeah, it's phone season, man. I'm, I'm going to do it for how many weeks, i say? You said a whole month. Oh, I'm going to do a whole month, so that's four weeks. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, phones all week, man. The black phones, though. You didn't remember, you didn't remember got the, the B. Hens I you. told you, man. That's how I was coming first day. We're going to see who uh, more treacherous, now, I, I guess. I, I, I fuck with them. You are more treacherous, like, <laughs> on and off the camera, but... <laughs> That was, that was some of my favorite shit. Nah, you definitely more treacherous than me. But you had a whole show not, called bro. QKW, nah, bro. Nah, fuck you're that show. They, they saw it last week. <laughs> no, they did. Yeah, that was his show. That's not the real show, y'all. That's his real that show. Was... <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> it dropped after this show, actually. Today. Oh, that's fine. Turn up. Nah, shout out to the QKW, the real QKW. That was. What y'all saw last week? A little scrimmage. It wasn't even a scrimmage. It was just, you know, we had some ladies in the building. They came on the we, show. you? Yeah, nah, me and, nah, me and Jeff and DJ not invited that. them. Oh, and they, wow. They just walked in and sat in the chairs. That's and cat. It was really me and Tropics show, but, you know, we let the ladies join. But the real QKW is on the way, for sure. Respect. Damn, New Year's, new lives. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even see. Let's pod. Let's just pod. <laughs> Let's just Shout out to the naysayers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pat McAfee really tried to kill Reese Davis on live TV, bro. That would have been fucked up if he would have said that, though. He was talking so slow, I think that's why they was like, boy, we thought you was finna let one go for real. Yeah. But he, <laughs> you, if you see Reese Davis, he didn't even know what they was talking about at first. Yeah, he he like, had no clue. He like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that little alarm clicked yeah, off and he was like, oh, oh y'all yeah. thought I was about to say niggers. <laughs> if he would have said that, that would have been funny to the bitch. <laughs> oh, I would never say niggers on TV. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if they would have aired that one, bro. Mm -mm. It was live, but I don't, somebody would have had to clip that real good, bro. But, but if he would have said it, he would have got it off. There was no way they could have defended nah. that, bro. Buddy crying don't have to get the tissue had me weak, bro. He was laughing so hard. I don't even know the big stroll motherfucker that be on there. Uh, it's Damn, Desmond I, Howard did his, mm -hmm. uh, the other black dude. Um, I forgot it. No, nah, Mark has it. Um, they went to um, Alabama. I don't even know, but... He, Mark Ingram? Yeah. No, nah, it was Mark Ingram. Ingram. It's the other little... I forgot, it's college game though, yeah. Yeah, little but, diesel dude. He was Bro, crying. niggas was in tears, but When I seen that, I was like, Pat McAfee really just tried to kill this nigga for no reason, bro. <laughs> you already taking all the network money, bro. Don't kill Reese Davis, bro. Man, we gotta have somebody on the motherfucker to watch. Pat McAfee's crazy, bro. Come on the show, bro. We, yeah. Huge fans, bro. Hey, what? Pat McAfee used to be a legend in Bra Ripple. Back, no, back in sure. the Vogue nights, he used to have the girls walk on stage and pour Jaeger shots in their mouth, bro. Like, he had a train of white women walking on the stage and he just pouring Jaeger shots in their mouth. That's when I know he was really different. Yeah, he's I, definitely I know different. he was really different when he got up to that, that motherfucking lake or whatever that was. Uh, downtown, what's that shit called? No, no clothes on. Nah, he wasn't downtown. He was in Ripple. He was in Ripple. Right there on that street. I thought he hopped in the motherfucker downtown. At nah, the, he didn't uh, hop in the canal. canal. Oh, nah, the canal. he hopped in the one next to uh, the Vogue, across from the Vogue. Oh, that nigga got gang green. Yeah. For you to be naked in Briar Ripple with scaring people and not get life, you have to be white. Yeah. Oh, uh, for sure. And that was our kicker back in the day. Legendary kicker, too. That turned him up, for sure. He got billed out and went, hey, we got to, we got to put more respect to his name. That nigga got billed out and went to a game. Yeah, yeah. for sure. He, he, in a, he in the same level like KCP. 
Oh, yeah. Nah, nobody, KCP. KCP was hooping on house arrest. He's a legend. He is a legend, bro. Matter of fact, KCP, please come on the show, bro. We had to talk about how you had that big ass band on your ankle. That nigga was out there with the Lakers. With, <laughs> nigga, you was on the most premier team <laughs> with a motherfucking house arrest band on. Always good for three threes in the game. Nigga, I swear to God, he the most. Hey, you you legendary, bro. If he don't, they don't put nah. him in the Hall of Fame, I don't know. That's some go to shit, bro. Facts, yeah. bro. On the Lakers with a house arrest band, bro, that is crazy. That's like Vernon Maxwell going straight out of jail to a game. Fire. I, don't, I ain't gonna say fire, but that, no, that's crazy. Vern on the show too. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. We definitely need Vern on the show. Man, can't show. wait. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. We might we might see him all star weekend, bro. Can't wait, man. Yeah. Can't wait. Hey, uh, shit. Shout out to Uncle Shay. That motherfucking Cat Williams interview is gonna go down as a legendary interview. And, and he really got on there talking crazy. And my favorite part was him disrespecting Cedric's the entertainer. Miles yeah. with Ricky Smiley. Dog. Why Ricky Smiley like he was going to play a pimp, though, bro? Relax, bro. <laughs> he was not about to be Money Mike. Yeah. That's Cap, bro. And Cap said he was going to be the one that got raped. Oh. He said Terry Crews was going to be the one to take, take the buns from him. Now, I have to say, I watch that every year for Christmas. They was kind of wilding at that. What? All the other Fridays been cool, funny comment. Why was Terry Crews brought in the right people? That was crazy. That was crazy. But Cat, like he said, you know, he made it funny though. Like, he made the movie. He wasn't gonna make. He wasn't gonna let nobody rape him. But yeah, he can act like a nigga about to do that, and I can. You feel me? Improv off of it and make it into a. He's like nobody. Nobody getting raped is funny, which is true. But he like shit. I'm gonna turn it into something. And I don't think nobody else could have played that role. Hell no. Nah. nah, bro. He saved that movie by himself. Because nobody, I mean, when we talk about the Friday series, as much as you disrespect that shit, that one's never mentioned. This is kind of <laughs> overrated, but I get it. You the, feel me? It's funny. The only reason that movie is funny is because of yeah. Mike Epps and Cat Williams. Yeah. Right? Easily. Ricky Smiley made nothing. That didn't do nothing for that movie. Like, him being a crackhead center is crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, being yeah. a crackhead center with a stash house. I ain't, I ain't never really. And shout out to Ricky Smiley. I just ain't never really took a liking to his comedy. Yeah, like his that. comedy ain't really my. He ain't on that level. Like yeah, I don't think I ever watched comedy. a Ricky Smiley stand up or nothing. And I would man. never go to a Ricky Smiley show. Like, and I always had beef with him because he tricked Russ Parr out his spot. Niggas fucked with Russ Parr in the morning. Then come this nigga. I fucked with Russ Parr in the morning, and I wanted to go on one of them cruises. Odd. <laughs> The crew, them and that Tom Joyner crew, was yeah. all the old niggas oh, was going crazy. Tom Jordan, yeah, I was, I was up on the Tom Jordan crew. I used to ride to that shit in the morning at school. Tom Jordan in the morning. What they used to do? Uh, Sagittarius. Yeah. Cancer. Yeah, that weekend Leo. cruises. <laughs> I'll take y'all niggas to King's Island and back to them. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't number 40 plus on that fucking. Well, is that Tom Jordan that had the Leos in? Can no, it? that's a Russ Parr shit. Oh, though. I was like, what yeah. are the motherfuckers I used to listen to on the board? Tom Jordan had the, the um, their cruises. The motherfucker cruises had all the nasty ass 40 and 50 year olds <laughs> trapped in the sea going I don't crazy. Even know what them niggas look like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Tom Jordan, that's the nigga that look like Richard Jefferson. He's a light skinned nigga. <laughs> Tom right. Jordan yeah, look like Zordon yeah, yeah, from Power yeah, Rangers. Yeah, 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 he's he a light skinned nigga. Them that, old ass niggas. The Commodores was a weak ass group as a whole. When you look at them like, damn, y'all wasn't supposed to stay together. I see why Ron, Lionel Richard left y'all niggas. Y'all wasn't Aggie. Damn, shout out to Lionel, man. He, he a goat. A legend. Yeah, he a legend for he real. He a goat. Left handed legend. But nah, Ricky Smiley wow. in the morning show, I fuck with it though. Because yeah. I fuck with head crack and all them. It's funny. Oh, yeah. But yeah so far, sure. it's like stand up. I don't think I would ever put him in like nah. up there with like Bernie and all of them. Hell like, no. Nah. Nah, Who nah, the bro. best? Bernie the, uh, Bernie the funniest to me. I've always felt that way, but after Cat Williams really kind of confirming it more, I've always felt the way about the niggas at Kings of Comedy. I ain't gonna hold you. I always. What's your order? Uh, Bernie was always one, mm -hmm. and then Steve two, and then D.L. Hughley three, and then Cedric four. Whew, on, that, on that on that Kings of Comedy on that yeah. show, hell no, nah. hell I, mine nah. is uh, Burn. Then said, yeah, facts. DL last for me. Said yeah. show whether he stole that or not. His set it was fire. fire. See now, I, I feel differently because yeah, when he nah. came out to that motherfucking mystical nigga, <laughs> bro, come out to mystical now. Bitch see what rocket, bro. Matter of fact, I'm playing that for Pike when we yeah, come out, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't do that around kids. <laughs> Wow, bro. We oh, can, he got to chill. Yeah, you no, he got to chill. chill. Nah, nah, bro. He ain't when, he came, when he came out, that was not about no rape or nothing, bro. We let a nigga go this far who had fucking fake sewing of uh, micros. 
We let, let that our, nigga pass for so long. We nah, let R. Kelly him. do it too. R. Kelly had fake braids. That's why he had the fat ass balls up here on this shit. <laughs> Six in, in the morning, the sun wakes me up. <laughs> Shut that me on in the bed that don't belong to me. Kills had the fake braids with the bed then to the end <laughs> the motherfucking the voice good morning, darling, from the bedroom. Nah, bro, but yeah, you got said fucked up in that uh, motherfucker Kings of Comedy. He's a liar. Bro. Those were his jokes. He don't get no We credit. know that now. We didn't know that back then, bro. Cat had to come out and voice that, bro. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Like, Seth Green Entertainer is a legend, bro. He definitely a legend. He made but... the Steve Harvey show. Him and um, LaVita. Facts, mm. facts. Regina, too. R.P. Bullet hit. Well, yeah. not Bullet didn't die, though. Romeo yeah, did. R.P. Romeo. Romeo died. Oh, no, probably. Romeo died. Maybe Bullet hit. If you did, I think Bullet hit dead, too. Romeo definitely died. Bro. Romeo died, bro. Bullet ain't dead. Bullet hit ain't dead. But I can put him under Mark Henry. I on think Bullet hit might have died. That's fair. That's yeah. the first. Yeah. He's the first person we killed this year. Yeah, he can, he can go under Mark Henry. I think Bullet hit dead. He's not, bro. We could probably Google that. All right, shout out to Bullet hit. Oh, yeah, that's the nigga from Next Friday that's dead. The Damn, white, um, white boy, the skater. He oh, died. for real? Yeah, yeah, he's Damn. got it. He died. When he's fed Chico that, he that weed. Not nah, he ain't dead. Uh, yeah. He probably old dead. The one that saw <laughs> Chico. White boy on that, on that crushed up candy cane. Stuff. Damn, winter time just passed. But nah, Kyle Williams was really going crazy. Like, that's a legendary interview because he don't really talk to a lot of people, but he really was just like, I'm ready to say fuck everybody. Yeah, he yeah. went crazy. And he really wasn't wrong. Mm-mm. He talked about Diddy. He talked about Kevin Hart. He said Ep- Epstein, whatever his name hey, is. Uh, Weinstein. Weinstein tried to suck his dick at the, uh, what's the name? Yeah. But he said no, but it was three other black comedians on there that, you know. Said what's up. You know, and that's crazy. Next. Yeah. That's wild, getting a job offer and you got, like, I'd be fucking pissed. Yeah. That is very, that like, is very disrespectful. Yeah, bro. That's, like, that's why I feel differently about Terry Crews now. Because he let a nigga touch Yeah, him. he was something on that. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I'm nothing wrong. on the dude. I, that's that's Terry. No, nah, hold on, y'all. Nah, fuck Terry, him. He I know I don't give y'all no pushback on that, but he was a whole-ass nigga, but <laughs> Terry Terry Crews said that man walked up and touched him, though. It man, ain't you got to fire on cuz. He, he's supposed to. He's supposed to, but I'm just saying. Like, nigga, we seen you in fucking the longest gonna, yard. Go I'm get not, that nigga. I'm not going to say he was something on that. He was something. He I, might and, not. And, I ain't going to say he's something, but he supposed to fire him, but. But and we judging Terry Crews. On how big he is, though. Pause. Pause. <laughs> yeah, he was judging him on that. I'm a, no, I'm saying like that that's nigga. Why, that's that why nigga, something. That's why body pulled up on that, <laughs> that nigga dancing like that in Friday and shit all oiled up and shit. Niggas looking at that like, bro, you was supposed to be his ass. Bro. Oh my god, he supposed he, to be. Yeah, he was, bro. Yeah. He was. Yeah. So that's I, I agree with y'all. He started like Terry Crews and white chicks. So I ain't gonna say he wasn't naming no more. Yeah, do y'all believe that Hollywood nah, shit? He was naming. He wasn't. Shout out to every nigga named David, man. It's but on all y'all names out here. Man. Y'all gotta get y'all get back. <laughs> nah, but do y'all think that's real about Hollywood though? Yes. That, I mean, too many people say it. Yeah. Mm. It's it's too many people who have been silenced, then said this shit. It's too many people who have said this shit and we've seen them like die away. Like, it's gotta be some truth to it, bro. I'm sure a lot of people are capping, but everybody ain't lying, bro. Yeah, we Dude. can't get that famous, y'all. Who? Who? We can't, bro. Oh, no. Yeah. You want... Uh, oh, yeah. I don't want nobody killing me off. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to be that famous. Yeah, I'd rather I'm just... Cool. I've I'll been st- living a normal life for a long time, bro. I don't want to go to that next level, well, bro. Wearing black on black force with white lights, we ain't never going to get there. <laughs> I was going to say... That's kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> They love me for my talent, bro, not for my gear. <laughs> we ain't never... Got, don't hey, worry. they was just like, damn, be here, turned up. We got the girl next to him. We put a fit on. Hey, you want to hear something funny to the bitch? Oh, yeah. So, no, no, no. This is, this is about me. Oh, okay. So today I was in, I had these out in the store, right? Somebody was like, man, you got them gallery dips. So I was like, what's that? He, she was like, looking for the sign. She like, oh, baby. <laughs> you got the, you ain't got the real ones. <laughs> P, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> hey, my nigga got on the city tree. <laughs> my nigga got on them dun 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 <laughs> She said, boy, you got the gallery desk, so you got that money. I was like, huh? What are those? She was like, your sweatpants. I was like, I looked there and I was like, she was like, where the sign at? I was like, you should have been like inside on the thing. <laughs> then I looked, these are the black ones. Look, no bullshit. I go home, I'm looking around, like, what the gallery desk? I, I go to the internet and look. I said, this is copycat. P. <laughs> P. You got them for Christmas? P. I told, I told you about my fucking Christmas gifts. Yes. Shout out to DH Gay Swift. <laughs> the Toomey Department. P. 
gave me the fake gallery death. They just gallery. What the fuck? <laughs> Shout out to P. All oh, them good ass gifts I get you. It's worse than the iPhone. Yes. This is a goddamn she watched, shame. She watched that Christmas episode. She said, say less. <laughs> you fucking bought me the galleries. You forgot the debt on them. Hey, man. Oh, hey, man. Shout out to I was trying to flirt. Trying man. to flirt. Man. To she, said, oh, oh. she said, you got them gallery depths, huh? You got that. Okay, I see you. I'm like, hey, gallery depth. What are, what are those? I looked down. I said, what? My nigga got some fashionable sweats though. I'm a, I'm a vouch for my nigga. Yeah, he got some, he got some shit. I know, but you ain't never did me like this. I used to get off white, hero uh, press, all nigga, them nice sweats, yeah, and then you go come nigga with the fake shit. gallery okay. dips. Damn. It's all right, bro. I still love you. They comfortable shit <laughs> for what it's worth. I mean, it is what it is, bro. I'm old, man. I don't care, man. <laughs> shit. I was embarrassed, though. I was looking around like gallery. That's crazy. I didn't know what they was. Nah, bro. That's, that's like crazy. when you see a nigga with fake shoes on, everybody get close to him. He be mm -hmm. trying to back away. Like, nah. Oh, nigga. yeah. I was definitely, I was like, you know what? Somebody might see this on the show. I'm going to have to address it. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to play out there before did. they put it yeah, out You had to address it before the girl put it up. Hey, he's insane. Yeah, Him he's saying she crazy. stole $500,000 and put it in socks is crazy. <laughs> he might be the lamest nigga ever, bro. Man. <laughs> I, I actually fuck with academics, though. How do you transport fifty thousand dollars in a Nike sock? Shit, Niggas shit. can barely put them in shoes, and you putting 50, 50 bands in each sock. That's crazy, bro. Mm. Nigga running out of content, bro. Nah, he ain't running out of content. Nah, he ain't. I Just fuck with academics, but though. I think he was trying to address it before she was able to do anything. But they, they, they put them you thousand, any, allegations you out. Yeah. Anything but that, bro. Yeah, yeah. But Just don't speak on women, bro. When you that type of nigga. Facts, facts. Nah, facts. it's one hundred, bro. Because he be talking greasy. Yeah. Facts, facts. But the allegations, they, 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 that screenshot came up. He said seventeen. <laughs> All right, I hired you at eighteen. I said, oh, he is sick. Oh, he's a wild boy. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. Josh Giddy. Did you see last night when Jalen Brown looked at him? It's about to be my new favorite gift, bro. Jalen Brown walked past Josh Giddy and looked at that nigga like this, bro. It's funny than a bitch. Louise, please clip that shit up, man. Niggas know, bro. Shout, yeah. out, to, shout out to Josh. I, Giddy, but he got man. finesse though. Supposedly, uh, allegedly, bro. Nice. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, fuck him. <laughs> I mean, if you in a club, it's deep in the rap. That's that's what they're telling you. I mean, shit, I'm going with what I heard. Yeah, yeah, Andrew that's Bobby. what it is. I mean, until you know, proven guilty, man. Keep yeah. hooping. The fact that you can hoop through this shit is boy. It's crazy. The niggas boy. ain't said, "Hey, you got to sit down." No type of. Oh. He need to drain my green council. They need to swap them niggas out. Let them go figure that shit out. Cause we ain't even mention him. Who? And our worst year improved player, all that type of shit we did for the last episode. Who, Josh Giddy? Yeah, we ain't been year ain't been that bad. He ain't got no shit. Yeah. They just gave him allegations and he's still hooping, still getting paid, everything. Damn. Hey, bro. Shout out to him, though, man. Oh, I'm shaking through the pressure, man. I, Rashad McCann said he could guard uh, Brandon Jennings. Yeah. I wanted to say something about that. Brandon Jennings would have fried that nigga. And any given time. Big Jennings was really like that. Not saying Rashad McCants used to be like that. Hard. Bro. Yeah, yeah for sure. No like disrespect. That. But in an NBA game, Brandon Jennings would fry Rashad. I True. saw the 55 point game. Yes, I watched bro. it. I've guarded Brandon Jennings, bro. He would, bro, off that pick and roll, bro, he was filthy. Nah, cold, bro. Shout out to Big Jennings for sure, but. Uh, I don't, I didn't know if they was talking about a one on one or he was just strictly talking about you can't guard me. Because for real, prime time Rashad McCants, I don't know what he be on now on the show. Yeah. He kind of say it's really for like clickbait or whatever. Yeah. Going against super, super against the grain, but on some hoop shit. And not because I'm a big UNC fan, but nah, bro, he was that deal, bro. Nah, you, yeah, he was cold, bro. Yeah. He's the first nigga I used to see jump off the right leg, dunk with the left. Nah, I used to be like, damn, he nah, cold. He, but Rashad McCann's, I can vouch for the nigga game for sure. Nah, he was cold. He's hey, still cold. If they talking about one on one, that's different. Yeah, it's different because size makes a big difference. Yeah. One -on -one, but in a game, uh, if he got matched up with Brandon Jennings, Rashad he's McCann's fooled. wasn't even known as no defender, though. Yeah, that's he's what I'm saying. Fooled, he's wild, though. Yeah, Brandon Jennings was definitely known as a scorer. Yeah, he's, he, food, he's cooking him. And Boy. what's crazy is that, like, if he hadn't got hurt, he was about to get paid in Detroit. Yeah. He was about yeah. to get paid. He was going to be an all-star the year he got hurt. He was cooking. Was I killing. remember I used to watch the stats. I'm like, I got to outdo B. Jennings because he's going to take my all-star. Like, yeah. yeah. He was one of the most explosive guards I ever seen. But Dude, that motherfucker used to school. score that bitch. I remember my rookie year, nigga, he played. We played him in the playoffs. He was playing for the Bucks, And he was torturing Bibby and them. Like, he was cooking. We thought we was going to lose the series. We ended up winning. Yeah. But he took it. Luis can clip it. He was on a fast break. He went behind his back 
And Bob Bibby and laid it in and he ran by the bench and he was like, you better get in, nigga. You better get in. These old motherfuckers can't fuck with me and kept running up the court. And nigga, I'm not even close to getting in the game. I'm at the end of the bench with no insoles in. Like, I know I ain't getting in. Like, that's how I even got, I damn near ain't had my shorts on. I think I was in my drawers. And, oh, my mom, I think I wow. had my shorts on. That was Mike Beasley. I knew I wasn't getting in. Nigga. I think yeah. I had on my regular street clothes under my warm up. Like, nigga, as soon as this game over, I'm ripping my breakaways and going to the crib. And I seen that, and I was like, damn, this nigga, he gone. He the, he the one, you know what I mean? Like yeah, he is special, bro. Yeah, bro. And like as much as people talk about Curry, hey, there is no Under Armour basketball without Brandon Jennings. Facts. And bro. that's why Curry a real nigga for collabing with him, yeah. man, bro. They're doing that shit together. That's hard, bro. Come back and grab you a nigga like that, pause, but yeah, and we yeah, all got so drafted at the up. same time. Nah, bro. Damn, nah yeah, for real, for real. yeah, same year. Curry a real one for that. When BJ and said that on the arena show, I was like, oh, nah, that's hard, bro. Yeah, that's a little nah, he real for that. that bag like that, bro, that's different. It's real nigga shit, bro. Yeah. He definitely popped off that armor to armor shit. Yeah, Hell yeah, yeah bro. Uh, the nigga, I used to laugh when that nigga was wearing them shits. Like, them shits is weak as fuck, and I'll never forget that nigga said 500K. No bullshit. But, nigga, I know he was getting money, nigga. We was doing our workouts. Shout out to B. Jennings, nigga. And this is when he talked shit about Ricky Rubio. We in Minnesota, and he had a Louis Vuitton book bag. Nigga, we all looking at the book bag like that shit. Some shit we ain't never seen before. We like, yeah. we just looking at his book bag like, damn. Like, you got a Louis Vuitton book bag? I ain't know what the fuck it was. You know me from Nap, nigga. I ain't never seen no. Yeah. Nigga, I had Nike shit. That was his overseas stick. Yeah, yeah, so he coming in with the workout Louis Vuitton bag. Nigga's just looking at the bag like, damn, this nigga got, nigga got money already. Like, damn. <laughs> And that nigga was just cool as hell, man. Shout out to him, man. I can't I wait to do a bro. show with him. Man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to them boys. Hey, Bernie Jones walks to so another ball could run, bro, because he was That's that first nigga who went overseas and made that, that play like that. He changed the whole, and he changed every way draft process worked. Facts. Like, not going to college, taking your challenge overseas, LaMelo, Emmanuel Moody, all yeah. them niggas. Stuff. Got and that B. Shit. Jennings, you a sniper, boy. Oh, uh, that. <laughs> the lineage. The lineage is golden. Respect. Yeah. A lot of. A lot of you was Ray J in the NBA. <laughs> Shout out to you, my nigga. We can discuss that on the show. But yeah. Yeah, we're going to say that for a different conversation. Nah, for sure. <laughs> my boy, my boy Legendary, man. Shout out to him, man. Off the court. <laughs> the real buckets. The baby Wilton. <laughs> so. You a fool. Hey, man, speaking of some hoop shit, uh, damn, the Knicks and Raptors cracking off. So all the moves is about mm -hmm. to fuck up the rest of the NBA this year. Everybody kept talking about the Knicks gave up too much, but I feel like they didn't give a fuck. They got the player they wanted. Like, OG Anobi is way better than R.J. Barrett. Uh, I don't like that they gave up Emmanuel quickly. He was averaging 15, almost 16 points off the bench. I hate that, but I, they weren't trying to resign him either. They uh, they wasn't. I mean, Dante DiVincenzo, so that gives him a, a chance to flourish yeah. a little more. Maybe he'd come off the bench be a six-man role. Yeah. Josh Hart get the ball a little more, have a chance to... I just hope Emmanuel gets the same opportunity. He will. That's all. He's gonna get the same thing. In Toronto, he, he, Toronto, to he damn near gonna be like a uh, <laughs> one of their go-to players. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna. You got Schroeder. You got they gonna build around Scotty Barnes for sure. Mm -hmm. Then you still got Pascal. They like, probably won't resign. They probably gonna trade Pascal. Come, come to the three one seven, bro. And they gonna rock out with Manuel quickly and Scotty Barnes. They gonna start building that team around them. Yeah, they should. I like Manuel quickly. He nice. I, I feel like I don't think he's there, but I feel like him and Tyrese Maxey could have mirrored careers had he had got the same opportunities in a different situation. I don't think he's as good, but I feel like he could have had that type of an impact on the team. I mean, he does still. Obviously, a nigga average like 14, 15, but I feel like if he had more touches and opportunity, he could have kind of did some of that shit. I know he's not as gifted offensively as Tyrese, but shit. I remember watching them together in Kentucky, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, they might go in the league and fuck some shit up. I mean, he's still, yeah. he still like that. Man. Like, it ain't no slight to him. He, he liked that, but Tyrese Maxey is just like, different. Yeah. He like uh he a star, like a almost a damn near a superstar. What do you have? Like 25, 26. Mm -hmm, that's up yeah, there. He, he like great at the best time. Yeah. Max deal this summer. For sure. But he always he been that. Like high school, everything. He been that. So it's Cold. like But he mean quickly been that too. But it's just like it's just a little, little different. bit different. Yeah, a little different. <clears throat> hmm. Pat brought this up, but do you feel like we don't give a fuck about Joel and B killing because we know they don't never get rest in the second round? Because he killing this year, again. Yeah, I don't be caring about winning. <laughs> Y'all know I'll be locked into the player of Joel, that dude, bro. No, nah, he he did, bro. He he liked it. He the best big in the league? 
Mm-mm. Yeah, no matter how old he really is, bro. Ooh, yeah. He not better than Jokic. I, I'm rolling him with Jokic, too. Nah, I'm on beat. Bro, Jokic like that, bro. He... Jokic is, is special. Jokic averaged nine assists in the NBA. Jokic ain't even playing for real, bro. <laughs> nah, he really He's not even playing for real. He averaged nine assists. That, that nigga really don't be playing for real because he don't want to win MVP no more. That's crazy. He don't want that attention no more. Yeah, like, bro, I don't even want to play for real because I don't want to win an MVP. I don't want to do all that extra shit. I just want to go see my horses after the season. I want to win the championship and go be with my horses. Niggas be talking about Kawhi anti. Nah, Jokic is anti. That nigga real life don't I, like people. But I think, I think Jokic is anti to the public. He cuts a fool on the internet in them clubs. Bro, <laughs> Kawhi the same way, though. He be partying, partying. Everybody say Kawhi is the funniest, craziest, coolest dude. I off, believe it. Off them cameras. Damn, the Kawhi podcast is going to slap. Yeah, like when he done, they think I ain't talk. When his when he get on there and he start really talking and people find out who he truly is. Yeah. Y'all be, y'all be on my laugh. That nigga laugh is retarded, bro. Nah, for real. <laughs> like, he got the da-dun-da-dun laugh yeah. for sure. <laughs> he got that missing one laugh yeah, for sure. Yeah, like I had one class all day. Same hallway. <laughs> We ain't lunch in here. Man, don't talk about us, man. Don't talk about us that had one class all day. <laughs> Nigga, you wasn't in there. What bike hallway is that? What hallway is that? Nigga, I don't know. I was just, H hallway. H hallway. Oh, I was H-Hallway. talking shit. H hallway, boy. <laughs> I just had my English class. I just had my. I just had my basketball coach five periods straight. <laughs> you went. You went out there with Chewy. Man, I went with you ever, Coach Wright. Chewy, you were Chewy. You was in H hallway. Yeah, you was the dun da dun da dun. Boy, shout out to Choo Choo, boy. My uh, dog, Chewy. I was with him. I was with, I was with <laughs> Coach Wright. I would come to school anyway. To six shout out to Coach Wright. Period. Shout out to Coach Wright. Nah, man. but shout out to OG for going to the Knicks. Man, I thought the Pacers was going <laughs> to snag him. No, nah, uh, Pacers trying to get Pascal, bro. And they're going to get him for cheaper than what they was going to have to pay at the beginning of the season. I don't know if they're going to actually do it because I don't know if he'll actually want to resign here. But the way that Tyree Halliburton is playing, I imagine a lot of people wouldn't mind playing with a point guard like that. Man, what he had twenty plus assists back to back games. So that's ridiculous, bro. And hey, fuck the Milwaukee Bucks. They be talking crazy and playing crazy against my niggas, and we still beat them. I'm rolling. Don't do that. Not too much. Not too much on my Bucks, bro. I know. Hey, respect to the Milwaukee Bucks nah. right now. Fuck y'all. We ain't nah. fucking with y'all right now. Nah, you crazy as fuck. Not too much. They the three one seven right now. I hope they win because mm, not too we much. We got that number right now. Nah, not too much. What y'all say? Fuck that game ball. Fuck that game ball. Yeah, <laughs> not too much. Take this L, nigga. Not too much, bro. <laughs> not too much. What they need to do? Oh, the Bucks. Yeah, because they they look like defensively they're not the same team. They not. Uh, Jay Crowder yeah. out. Yeah, that plays a role. He's a defensive player. Uh, that two guard shot, uh, that two guard spot, they can't really sharpen it up. Now they don't know who they want to go with. Sometimes Malik Beasley, blah blah blah, whatever. He be having games where he don't fucking miss. Yeah, and then he have games where be like, all right, like you try something game. But he be having games where he don't fucking miss. I'm like, damn, if he if he can do this three times in the series, that cool. Yeah, but. Dame not the same defender as Drew, so the defense Facts. elapsed a little, but Drew not the same offensive player as Dame. Facts. Drew's a great offensive player, but he's not the same as Dame. So it's going to be a little lapse in defenses because that's not what he do. Yeah. But it's also like, they still trying to figure it out. Shit, but they had 30 some games almost. Too. Yeah, and they've had what, a couple injuries that people don't yeah. miss. Like rotational players that actually mean shit. Yeah, so like, give them some time to gel a little bit, but the defense is going to take a little hit because Drew was a defender. That's what he do. Dame can play defense, but that wasn't what he do. That ain't what he known for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know so, what I mean? So so right now, basically, the road through the East go through Boston? Nah, I go through Milwaukee. Mm. Yeah. Because, I mean, Brooke, Brooke Lopez is still, uh, he hold the paint down, too. He's still yeah, top he go five through. in the league and shot Brooke blocking. Lopez be holding shit down, Niggas bro. Niggas kind of sleep on that, bro. They, we don't say his name enough, but he he really is a defensive specimen, for sure. Yeah. Bro, that nigga hits threes <clears throat> and shuts the paint down, bro. Yeah. yeah. He, like, I... Yeah. I really fuck with Brooke Lopez. But you bro. don't fuck with Miles Turner. He do the same thing. Uh, yeah. Brooke getting more hoes. <laughs> I'm rolling. Yeah. Speaking of hoes, well, not, I don't want to call them hoes, but mm. I just want y'all to categorize or put them in order. So this is TV women. So I got Hillary from Fresh Prince. Mm-hmm. Topanga from, what was it, Boys Meets World? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Laura from Family Matters. Shout out to... Carl, no smart, bro. I was just playing with you. You know, I heard you. Who was, I, was like, when we, at that PB. time, who did we want? Yeah. <clears throat> I want to... Just rank them. I wanted Laura. Laura was... 
What? Lil Lil Winslow? Ask yeah. him how old he was. I want to see. Lil oh. Winslow, I had to be like 13. Okay. 13. I was, you know. R.I.P. to the girl, the other girl that showed up passed away. But she was colder than Laura. She, when Laura got that short hair, it was. Are you talking about girl that, ooh, with the Yiddies that died of cancer? Yeah, bro. Yeah. R.I.P. to but she was cold. That was who. She was always colder than me, then. Yeah, that's um, who Steve was smacking. Yeah. 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 But, but when Laura started dating Stefan, she had the short hair. I was something. Like, something. like when she was little, little, she was a bugger. Yeah, oh, she was. Yeah, weird. she had the little nappy head. But mm-hmm. when she got older, she started getting her shit yeah. short. Yeah, she figured it out. To pack it in like niggas. She don't fuck with black people. But we knew that later. Yeah. I'm just saying when we was younger. Boy, Miss Ford was a fire show. She was yeah, hard, for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm my list is Hillary Topanga, Laura. Damn. Ooh, Laura last. Laura's crazy last. Oh, yeah. I was, had a better run. Hillary was fire too. And Hillary got but, fits off. Man, Hillary was tough. Hillary used to be bolded for sure. Yeah. Hillary the original gold digger. <clears throat> she was. You gotta respect. Original. She, yeah, was. she was. She was the first city girl. But can you be a gold digger if your family rich? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can you really be, though? Well, that's just where you come from. <clears throat> how, but how you... Right. So I'm saying, how you looking at it, though, bro? How you looking at it? I don't it? think if you come from money, I don't think you can be a gold digger. That's just what you expect. Like... That's what I grew up with. My pops had money. Like, why would I date something less? That, like, nigga, you better have some change. My, that's where I come from. If we, if we start making girls live by the way that they pops came up, then this the dating dynamic will totally change. Yeah, but that's why we don't respect it. Like, Too if shy. you came up and your daddy was working at Marathon, which ain't nothing wrong with working at Marathon, but then you come and you like, I only date niggas with money. <laughs> and it's like, you ain't grow up like that. It's, yeah. it's still... <laughs> <clears throat> but it's like you ain't it grow looked, up like that. Bad, how could you? How could you fault a girl who grew up in a ten million dollar house and then that's what she expect? I'm only dating a motherfucker that got ten million dollars. I think I, grew I think up I agree that. with Teague on this one. It's rare, but they I agree with him on that one. Just got, she got high standards. They both got high standards, but one is expecting. Yeah, I grew up like that though. <clears throat> yeah, like if I grew up in a ten million lineage. dollar house. And then <clears throat> and you I want me to leave wagon to high school. Yeah, and you want me to live in an apartment on thirty eighth. That's tough. Yeah. You gonna call me a gold digger? Cause no, I'm about to go stay back with my parents because yeah. you got me fucked up. That's yeah. optional. That's optional. It's like, she got she could always be the one with the money. Yeah, True. But she could be the one with the money. As a provider, as a man, you're a provider. So it's levels of gold digging. So I, what about the oh, middle? Sure. I like that. What's the what's the middle tier though? The girl that maybe she didn't grow on, grew up on Wick or on Laguna Beach, but she grew up in Pike Township when Pike Township was Well, Pike she better Township. be used to baiting Pike Township type of niggas. Yeah. Like, or if your dad made 100 grand a year, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be like, my standards is to make, I want a dude that make a million dollars a year. It's like, you seen your pop grind and get 100,000 a year? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, I well, this is what I But say, if you, you got a certain look, you're going to get approached by a certain type yeah. of dude. Yeah, outside outside mm-hmm. of the look, this is what I would say on it. And you, I ain't mm-hmm. saying you wrong, bro, but I think when girls grow up, they probably tend to be like, okay, I love what my parents did for me, but now I'm in a different position, and now I kind of want better for myself. I see there's more than what I grew up <clears> around. I think I might, I might look at my daddy as a good man. I might want a man like my father, but, but so far as like the lifestyle, I probably want to upgrade a little bit. That's cool, but you should upgrade yourself. So if you making, if you want a nigga that make five hundred thousand, you better be bringing. You better not be a fifty thousand dollar girl unless he want to upgrade you. I was gonna say it's Respect. all about that initiative. If I if somebody sees you grinding, you in school, you get money, something like that, then I understand. Yeah, but you at the call center telling me you need a nigga with six figures. <laughs> all right, you gonna have to up your ante too because <laughs> it's a wild audition. Yeah, that's you better be cold. Oh, like you better be elite. So that's where the looks come in at. <laughs> yeah, that's people pay for looks. So if, if you're you medium noticed, tier, you got to kind of... He's trying Ooh, to get me... Hustle. He's trying to get to, me fucked up. I, I'm <laughs> not. He's no. doing a live too. I, that's I, fine because no. I, I, I tell the truth. No, no. no. <laughs> I, I you, mean, can make, you can make fifty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a no, year, no, no, but if you no. cold... Let's, let's leave the money alone. No, I'm just saying, if a girl bring forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year... That's some good money, y'all. No, I'm not saying that's bad money. We're not... No shade. We're not doing that. But I'm saying they dating a dude that make a hundred million... She probably is cold. Like, like you see an old white dude with all this money dating this young girl. She looks good, bro. Mm, not all of them. Who? Who? Because shit, man. I ain't trying to throw nobody under the bus. 
But so the bus has started. Me and me and Shanice know a motherfucker, and she was in a D hallway, and she got her a doctor, and she looked like Rylan Black. God damn it. She so must got good just, neck dinners. Oh, I mean, mean, but I'm saying that you providing a different she service. Did oh, some, oh, she she did something that locked it down. Made him feel like, yeah, I need to lock that okay, down. Okay, cool. But I'm just I'm, let me talk about the medium tier women, bro. Like a, a medium this ain't tier. This not even my type of topic. This is QKW, bro. No, it's not, bro. It's for you because you always judge them. I'm not. A, it's a medium tier woman, bro. Don't bring QKW. Don't bring QKW to 520, man. I'm just saying a medium, a medium tier woman, she deserves to be like, shit, I wanna. I want to upgrade. Let me try my look. It ain't, Shoot for it the stars, ain't, baby. It ain't a bad thing to try your look. Shoot. Do your thing. If a motherfucker want to come down there and scoop you out the medium tier, bring you top <laughs> tier, do your thing. It ain't It ain't like niggas don't like dating girls at whatever the medium tier is. I mean, if a dude like, they don't like who they yeah. like. like. And if a nigga got it, he don't care about your situation because he yeah, can make it whatever he yeah, wants Yeah, he to. can change your situation for you. That's cool. But I'm saying... Don't have expectations yeah, if you ain't... If you can't provide your expectations. I'm saying a nigga shouldn't approach a girl who grew up with their daddy worth two, five hundred... I shouldn't approach Kim Kardashian. And oh, shit. I grew up in Sean Teague household and I'm like, hey, what's up, baby? And yeah. she expect her to be like... <laughs> Yeah, that's what we doing. I better expect to move in with her and be doing whatever she say. Well, if we base the shit off the daddies, y'all, I'm going to have to let y'all do that township shit because I'm from public school and, and then none of them hoes have their daddies. <laughs> they just mean they daddies <laughs> at our age now. But we can move on. Where their daddy was at, man? <laughs> Around the corner? <laughs> probably, probably at Tarkin. Hitting that gold dust. <laughs> 80% of girls at my school didn't have a daddy. I'm not, I'm not even saying it like that. I'm just saying. You think it's a general reveal? Oh, it's my dad. <laughs> I'm just saying. If a, if a person grew up with a lot of buddy, you can't expect her not to want to date somebody who got, yeah. who come from that too. Fair the enough. Matters. We can remove. We can yeah. remove. Hey, man. Um, I'm sure you probably happy when you heard this. Wayne said that 56 Nights is the GOAT mixtape. <laughs> He's lying. But no, I it's not. It's not. 56 Nights was a fire mix. It is amazing. It's not. Did the we best not used tape. to spin that shit just? Every single day. <laughs> it's amazing. Is that the best future type, though? Damn near, yeah, bro. Yeah, 56 Nights, bro. That shit. Man, my nigga Wayne was probably in on a couple of them sessions, bro. Oh, he was in them sessions. He just went on the mic. I think no, 56 Nights like, crazy. I think 56 Nights crazy. We used to spin no, that's that, that bro. Bill, what? To have that and March Madness on the same tape is crazy. Man, nuts. Nah, bro. That was That's different. I didn't say nothing because I when I saw it on Twitter, I'm like, niggas going to be on my ass. Like, so you couldn't bring it up. Yeah, I saw it a lot. I think it a lot. No, but shout out to Wayne. And that's Wayne saying that. We be putting yeah. his mixtapes in our top five. Cause, cause albums. We put them in top nah, five yeah, albums. Yeah. I was going to ask y'all, what's your favorite mixtapes? I know one part too hard to pick. I'm sleeping, but on mine. But really, I'm going to take Fab. So I'll take? Just all his, the... He's talking about didn't know me for saying package the list. He's talking about his, his, his run of mixtapes. Mix like mix I like five that mixtape run. Soul Tape 1 and 2 for me are very, very elite mixtapes. His mixtape run is hard. You know who got a nice mixtape run? He turned them to albums, though. K Camp. I used to like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to oh, like yeah. it. Elite. This is the first it, day I've ever agreed top with Top We don't care, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't my favorite, but they. Mike, it's really what you fuck with. But Don Trip. Oh yeah Look. Come on bro Trip mixtapes My hey. Mike Seaway Hell man uh, Lido <laughs> I'm a I'm hey, a real pull up man Don Trip and Lido bro Them is like We gotta have them on the show Step They Brothers like my it. favorite rappers bro Damn One of my Like some of my favorite rappers bro Great music takes yo Yeah I don't Great music takes you don't shout, like Lido? And, shout uh, out to my nigga Jabbar trip. Shout out to goddamn it Ween Shout out shout to, to goddamn it Keenan Shout out to my nigga Diamond, y'all. Bees, he fuck with, he definitely fuck with Lido and Trip. But yeah, yeah. when Rambo first got out of jail, that's when niggas was playing. Man, niggas, Step Brothers, that first around. Step Brothers, Elite. man, what? That's one of the hardest mixtapes ever. Shout man. out to Bruce and Brandon, y'all. Yeah, yeah, y'all, they big fans. Yeah. Me too. They already know. I remember when Don Tripp retweeted me. I was geek. I ain't never got hype from somebody besides Al Iverson and Don Tripp. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? And Memphis Bleak. Y'all know how I feel about Bleak. Bleak. Bleak, yeah. Bleak one of my favorite rappers, too. They but performed I, in your jersey. That was fire. When Lito did, nigga, I was. That's fire. Bro, I said, boy, nah, I done that's made hard, it. bro. I done made it. My nigga Lito done got the jersey on. You got hella rap love, though. Yeah. Because Bankroll did. Fresh fucked with you tough. Oh, man, I fuck with Bankroll Fresh. R.I.P., man. Damn, I wish I could have kicked it with him. 
No, I fucked with him. Too. We heard niggas before niggas heard bankroll too. Facts. That's, yeah. that's a fact. DOA, nigga. Nah, that's a fact. Yeah. I ain't gonna use Wang because that's cheap, but I can remember saying mixed types, two niggas who probably don't get that just dude that got crazy types, Wiz and currency. Wiz mixed type. You yeah, and this currency, that. boy. You hey, I currency. See. My dog. You need to, y'all need to do a, a fucking reel or something together because this nigga hey, fucking. Let you. that nigga come sit in the Cadillac or Man. something. Jesus hey, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> Curse that's is crazy. You said the back seat. And what's the other nigga? <laughs> Dom Kennedy. Y'all two niggas uh, get bitch and bored by DJ to any rappers I know. My yep. nigga Spitter got the classic types. Real niggas. The only Kennedys we respect is my nigga that got shot in the back of the head in the car, man. That was uh, crazy. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the whole lineage caught the fade. <laughs> I'm out, man. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, look, I'm about to get up. I'm about to get up. I'm about to leave. Man. Niggas ain't been in the drop top since. I knew they was going to be on some bullshit. They put Obama in the drop top after they seen what happened to my dog, man. I was going to say, they set the play on my nigga why, easy yeah, like that. Why bro. they have Obama in a Corvette, though? <laughs> he, he pulled the top up. <laughs> he put my nigga in the vet. Nah, let me stop. Uh, they try to scope my nigga. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and nigga in a bit. That's crazy. All right, let me quit. You should do the Hellcat. That'd be far. <laughs> Drop tap Hellcat is nuts. <laughs> Shout out to Obama and them. Nah, man, I ain't respecting them. But I, Wiz, Wiz run, of course. I'm uh, Wiz, Wiz got classic fan. tapes. Cushion Orange Juice is damn near a top five mixtape. Yeah, top 10 outside be safe. Rich yeah. Forever by uh, Rick Ross is hard, too. For sure. Um, That's probably in my, that's one in my top fives. Yeah, that's a hard mix. And that's, I remember this, the anniversary of that shit was like uh, a couple weeks ago. It came Damn. out right before Christmas. Why we ain't celebrate? Shit. Damn. In my top five mixtapes, though, and I, I'm I'm out of pocket for not remembering the name, but Rich Homie's first mixtape was fire. Damn. The type of way, what type of way on it? Uh, no, no, no. What are you talking about when they got They Don't Know? Yeah, They Don't Know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. YouTube, help me out, y'all. Y'all know I'll be fucking up the names of tapes, so that's a, that's an underrated. That's my not I top like, tier. Rick Ross and them was top tier, but I'm Rich Homie now. That was one of my favorite. I types. fucked with they don't know. Damn, I feel bad. I ain't even mentioned the Ti Gangsta Grills. Hard. Yeah, the Ti Gangsta Grills is crazy. I Hard. fuck with Tip, but I ain't never really been a mixtape Tip fan. I like his albums. They, they definitely look, they better. Yeah, I ain't they really, definitely better. I like Jeezy mixtapes. All of them. Trapper Dot might be the best mixtape. What's the last song? laugh? That was my shit. They yeah. they banned that though. You can't even find them. You gotta do it on YouTube. Big Sean too. You already. Big Sean, shout out to my nigga. What Detroit? Being on. Hard. Yeah. Ooh, I got a question. What's better? Big Sean Detroit or more about nothing while Detroit. Detroit. That easy? Yeah, that Detroit mixtape was crazy. Shout out to Where the my fuck nigga is Big Sean at? Shout he out is to a dad. He's a dad, nigga. Uh, He's more, a stay at home dad. He won. More about nothing though is with the Seinfeld clips. Bro, fire. It's, yeah. It's fire. But Detroit just, it came out the gate, bro. It's, and he needed that tape, too. Yeah. yeah. And he really rapping on that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Now nah, Detroit's fire. I fuck with Wale, but I don't really, uh, like, I can't listen to him that long. Like, mm-hmm. I got, like, three or four songs, and then I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm off Wale. Like, I can't. Big Sean, I can listen to his whole album. His first album, uh, I used to play that shit all Finally the time. Finally Famous? Yeah, yeah. I used to play that shit all the time. But that whole mix We had here. a classic run to, uh... Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay. Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay. Yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Campus Corner. Shout out to Bloomington. Legendary night. Open runs. Nah, Big Sean, Big Sean had some shit. Yeah. But in the grand scheme of things, you look at that time period, everybody dropped classics. Like Drake, so mm-hmm. had so far gone. Cole had fucking Friday Night Lights. Bro. Friday Night Lights, my fuck. No disrespect to Cole. That's my favorite mixtape. You right. That motherfucker had me. It still slaps to this man. Day. What I play that motherfucker too. They they put down spin Riller, so I ain't got it no more. But shout out to Reese, my nigga Reese Cheat don't put me on. But I I just I ain't never Friday Night Lights was fire. No, I had to go to uh fucking uh, live fire. mixtapes app because that Piff died. But that Piff got the um they got the archive dot org where they put all the that Piff mixtapes online. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, ta- I needed that shit because you can't find that shit nowhere else. Another sleeper, Luca Brasi. That's your man. Yeah. Hey, why is he on the internet asking finesse? Uh, and that's a crazy segue. Yeah, what, what's up with your man? Like that, that was a great live. Like, that was crazy. That's your man. He yeah, always justify yeah, his yeah, bullshit. Justify this one. What did he ask him, though? I, he, I take it back. I he, take it back. <laughs> <laughs> what did he ask him? He was just, he was doing too much, bro. Ask about his ankles. Would his ankles be vertical? <laughs> he asked Finesse yeah, to lift his legs weird. up. Yeah, this nigga's good. And I don't even know how he uh, can correlate in that to being something regular. Why he asked him to lift his leg? I don't know, bro. He was on a different type of time, bro. <laughs> That's a diddy question. But anyway. 
<laughs> but anyway. Shout out to Luka Brasi, though. Did y'all watch uh, the game, Michigan, Alabama? <clears throat> yeah. How y'all feel? I fuck with Michigan. <clears throat> I'm so um, glad they finally got a win. For once, they actually got a fucking win. Um, I don't want Jim Harbaugh to win the national championship. Shout out to my nigga. Washington Huskies, my dog, did all that shit at IU for no fucking reason. Went through all them ACLs. Hey, I want Washington to win, man. They about to get... I agree. Mo! This is my dog. <clears throat> you, take, you taking I'm that? I'm taking Yeah, I got fucking Michigan. Michigan about to dog walk these boys. I don't know, bro. Mm, we're going to have, we gonna have to do a little bet off camera. Come on, man. I'm, I'm rolling with Washington, bro. They scored too much. Yeah, they scored too much. They ain't play no real people. They ain't play no Big Ten powerhouse and it gets on. Man. We just... I ain't gonna stunt. Michigan run the ball way too fucking good. Nigga, we running yeah, that they bitch. Run we smash good, mouth bro. football. We moving yeah. that motherfucker. Right, Even though I'm Ohio State fan. Sound crazy. As we. Oh, you Ohio State fan? Yeah, I Oh, that's Ohio crazy. State, but I'm going with like a motherfucker on this podcast. I am. My fault. I am. Maurice Claret. Hey, get your mask. Maurice, AJ he would never. Dewan, my bad. But I'm just being real. That nigga definitely wallow. Oh, man. man well, I'm always I'm, switching teams, bro. In fact, I'll go with winners. I'm Dang a winner. Verse. That's why I'm about to start rooting for Noblesville. <laughs> <I'm just playing. laughs> and on that note, <laughs> nah, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I'm, hey, I'm, a, right. I'm over here in a, in a funk, man. <laughs> Can't <laughs> buy a fucking win. How much a win costs around this motherfucker? <laughs> Free the guys. Free them, man. Oh, they free. They free. They free. It's backwards. Yeah. They BG. You, you John Carl Perry in. on the Nets. Oh, they BG. <laughs> Throw them back in. Fuck. <laughs> Send them back. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. I had to figure out which one y'all was talking about. <laughs> what, what BG want to send back in, bro? Yeah, I know. I want to send a power four back in. Oh, no. Not the power oh. bottom. <laughs> oh wow! Her going top us at that pool party still pisses me off. That that was supposed to get flagged. She ain't got no titties, man. How do you get the motherfucker sucked out like that? Shout out to the child support. <laughs> yeah, that bitch is just tatted. She is tatted. I don't care. They're about, okay. And on that note, we about to get the fuck up out of here. Hopefully, we back next week. Oh, no, man, we ain't done, man. <laughs> oh, you got some points? What else we want to talk about? <laughs> Anything. I'm just trying to get away from that shit. Please. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. I love, I love when B here gets on this little roll. I'll be like, no. Because he always try to get me fucked over. Pulse. He always try to do something to fuck up my lineage. So I'm like, keep going. But let the oh, fans man, I'm hate just him. saying, bro. Let all the, all the 100K subscribers get on his ass. Yeah. Oh, I man. can't wait to the QKW episode when that comes up. Me too. I can't wait. We're going to have fun on that motherfucker though, man. Child yeah, to the women send, on child support. Send her back for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Getting repoed is crazy. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> nah, we don't want nobody to go to jail. I'm bullshitting, but you out of pocket for that and the girls that was there. Nah, the I wanted to ask you one last thing. Y'all hear when WAC 100 talked about 42. Did y'all ever hear that? Nah, nah. They said that 42 Doug and uh, Offset was shooting dice. And uh, Offset was busting his ass on the dice. And uh, 42 Doug, while Offset was shooting, just picked up his money and was like, nah, I'm done. Like, you know, dice rules, nigga. Like, you know how it goes. Yeah, that's when burning you dice. Yeah, yeah, money, yeah, you burn, that's yeah. burning dice. It's time to, it's, so they said that, allegedly, Offset stole him, went in his pockets, took his money out. Damn. And then everybody pulled out the burners, 42 Doug and them. According to Wack, allegedly, Wack broke it up. And I was like, they said that's what started the... Because in Atlanta, I seen the tape. Down. I seen the tape. No bullshit, I seen a tape where they beat Offset down to his draws, nigga. No bullshit, I seen the tape. I was like, damn, this nigga was hopping in a black truck, nigga. Pants down, everything. They beat his ass. Baby, and I ain't going to say it. Allegedly, yeah. a group of niggas had beat his ass. So I never knew where that stemmed from, but listening to that, they said that's what happened. Yeah, it's real beef with Baby now. Yeah, they don't... That's why my fuckers telling DJ Academics, bro. You better relax, bro. Yachty done told him, like, hey, my nigga. I wouldn't be within, nigga, five feet of them niggas. They really own that with you. And for real, for real, what dice game has ever ended well? I've never seen a successful end to a dice game. Nah, it ain't. If you win the money, you lose. Because somebody's going to try you for that money. To rob you. Like, yeah. even in the city, if you shoot dice in the city, bro, you better already know. But I've seen some niggas try to shoot dice with some fake hitters in. Ooh. It's, yeah. You, you better go that, spend that money immediately because yeah, you will not have it tomorrow. That started a rap beef in the city, too. Facts, facts. <laughs> but 
Some dice games do end well, man. Shoot dice yeah. with your guys. Shoot, shoot dice at the casino. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or with your guys right nah, now. I'm not shooting. Nah, nigga, don't do it with your friends, I'm shooting 42, Doug. Offset was probably yeah. cool. That nigga probably like, man, I ain't paying you that shit, nigga. They both rich, too. Yeah. yeah. But they probably try shooting a high dollar amount, too, Five bro. bands, they said. Yeah, that, that's a lot of money for me to fill away. Nigga, you gambling though. I'm saying though, I I get it. Yeah, why you tight? You yeah, like your yeah, bread. Yeah, but I'm saying gamble with your friends, y'all. Don't don't put yourself in a in that type of situation. You saying gamble with your friends, but how many families got fucked up this last holiday because they played Monopoly or Uno? Nah, my, they got my together? family like left, right, center, shit like that, bro. That shit really don't be that deep, bro. It's a legendary dice games, nigga, that went down without no smoke, bro. For sure, bro. But, but the percentage is crazy. But on God, if you hit me with a draw for us, damn near up. Not when I got Uno. I'm damn near don't fuck with you. And you know how we play Ultimate Uno. Yeah. That wild shit. Yeah, that wild. That shit is wild. Yeah, passing there. me off a draw four. I damn near don't fuck you. Yeah, I damn near don't fuck with you. And you probably shouldn't yeah. talk to me for the rest of the night, especially <laughs> if I we playing the five wins and I got four. <laughs> I I'm think I'm only really competitive in like Spades and Monopoly. You two niggas in Monopoly are ridiculous. Nah, like, I'm the I goat. don't really like. I'm the goat to Monopoly. Slum Lord. We ain't really we ain't really sat down to play yet before. We played at your house. I got a picture of us. I beat your ass. No, you kind of quit. I ain't gonna Get say the who. Fuck out I here. ain't gonna say who was one there. One thing, one thing I do, I don't quit Monopoly. I will fucking play it till I ain't got a dollar. No, you was asleep. Uh, I was that tired. Yeah, you was you was asleep. The game just kept going for real. Like you quit. I ain't saying it on no pet bed. Like, nah, he's trying to say Rashad like he's trying. He trying to do me like, like that. you know. <laughs> he trying to pet bed. That's <laughs> crazy. Nah, nah, Get the Monopoly nigga, board in the studio, my bro. Nigga so. quit. We had some young ladies there. It was a little. Oh, like, I remember. Yeah, like oh, uh, this was long time ago. We this was is, young as fuck. This is like 2012. No yeah, cap. Yeah, long time ago. Shit. I remember that. This is the crib with the elevator, and I remember mm-hmm. the night, bro. Damn. I'm not shouting out the girls. They, you feel me? Love I do y'all, remember that night. Yeah. I do remember that night. Yeah. Wait, we need a 520 Monopoly game. Bad to be fired. I want to play. Right. You said what? I want to play. We already know you're yeah. a slumlord in real life. So yeah. you, you going to, y'all two niggas. We got to have rules though. Like before we start, none of that side deal immunity shit. We got to have clear rules of how niggas play. I'm going to play right. straight up. Yeah. It ain't really how we want to play. Okay. Yeah. We play straight up. We can stream it. Nah, we got to stream that. Yeah, for sure. Right. I can't wait till we start that. Yeah, because I don't like know that. How I really like that on Monopoly. Phil. I can't wait till my socials get up. The stream shit gonna be crazy. I'm gonna yeah. be planning in this motherfucker. So 520 Monopoly Day. That's yeah. that's what's next on yeah. our list. It's on there right, for sure. Coming soon. Thanks. And like that, we're gonna get the fuck up out of here. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff for extra scenes, extra episodes, early access. Tap into the Patreon Club 520. We'll be back next week.